Hey guys, we're back at it again today, doing something a little different. Uh, we're sniffing glue. So, um, I'm working on the headliner for the 70 Chevelle, and as you can see, these are the uh, uh, head, the headliner that goes on the C pillar in the back. And when I was taking this one apart, it's you know pretty nasty. You can see it broke here in the back. The cardboard's all dried out. It's got wet a few times. So, um, the headliner kit came with a new uh, piece of fabric that matches the top, obviously. So we got that, and then I went to original parts group and got some replacement sail panels c pillar cards whatever you want to call them uh, and they come two to the set so what we're going to do is glue um, this fabric onto the the cards and then we'll be ready to hang it in the in the car when it gets set up so what i have here is some fast tack upholstery adhesive you can get this just about anywhere i think i got this at o'reilly's um, and it'll work pretty well. So you basically you spray it on, you let it tack up a bit, and then we can uh, glue the headliner to the card. So, so the first thing you gotta do is get the appropriate piece. So obviously this is the one that goes with that one, and then we'll. So it's bigger than the panel, and we'll do it this way so you guys can see a little bit better. Right, and what we're gonna do is. Get it about where we want it, a little bit centered. And as you can see when you look at it, certain edges hang off, right, with excess, so that you can uh, glue it into place. So we're going to leave this long, and we're going to leave this a little bit long up here. And then the top is going to get rolled over, kind of like this, and glued to the back here. Same thing for down here. This is going to get folded up and glued on the back side. Um, the difference here being I'm going to put some glue on the front face of this so that we can smooth out any wrinkles and it will stick to the foam board real nice. starting to get tacky, you can go ahead and lay it out, get it nice and flat, and then we'll flip it over. Now it's got glue on it, obviously, so careful where you put it, but we want to smooth out some of these wrinkles. Okay, so now that we've got everything on here and we've got all the wrinkles out, we can go ahead and make a few cuts and uh, get the other sides folded over. So when I do this, I like to leave um, these ones where I'm going to use it later to um, adhere to the channels or the, the rails in the car. I like to leave those long here and I will cut them to the length I need them to be once I'm out there. So here we go. Now you want to you want to fold this over. And we'll have to make a few cuts, right? Because obviously you don't want this little excess here. So what I like to do is I'll fold it over. That way I can see in my mind how I need to cut it. And then I can go ahead and cut it. So here we're going to make a, a cut right about here. And then we can cut off this little excess piece right here. 
and this gives us plenty of material to fold over. It doesn't have to be this much, um, but I figure I got it. Why not use it? See what you can see here. You know, it's it's really not that much overlap. But. Same thing here. So now is where it gets a little bit tricky. You're going to want to put something down on the, if you're using your dinner table like I am, so you don't get glue on the table. So we'll take our handy box here, and move everything up to the box, and then I'm going to because this glue comes out nice and wide. I'm going to lay a, a bead of glue on both the the card, the bottom of the cardboard in this um, headliner material. Okay, let that tack up for a second, and then we can go ahead and fold it over. Obviously, let's say obviously a few more times. Okay, now we're ready to fold this over. It doesn't have to be. Perfect. No one's ever going to see it again. And a little bit extra here, so I'll cut that off. For a second to dry. Okay, so the next one we need to do is up here at the top. So we'll spin this whole thing around and get out of our glue. So we're gonna. Oops. Uh, so we're going to fold it over here to see where our cuts need to be, just like we did on the back. This is kind of an odd one because it's got this small bend curve in it um, and it can be a little bit more difficult to get everything lined up the way you need it. So you see how when you try to fold it over you get the resistance from the other part of the curve. So we'll give this a relief cut right about here. Now that we've got those cuts in it, there's a little bit more relief.
let that tack up. And then these same binder clips that we used on the, uh, the headliner work well here. So we use some of those to make sure we get a nice set up here. Okay, so that's one done, um, and obviously when we uh, go out there, we'll uh, cut this a little bit more so that we can adhese it. As you can see down here, they I would have thought they used to glue it over here, but they don't. They leave a little bit excess. That way when you uh, put this in, it can uh, sort of hide the, the seat and that uh, tray, the what do they call it? The package tray in the back. So we'll cut that to fit when we're ready to install that. So we can, this one's ready to go. We can set it over here to the side. Okay, so now we're doing the same thing, but on the opposite side this time. So, because that, so that one is now gonna be a driver side and this is gonna be a passenger side. So uh, we want, this one to cover this side. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna spray this face with glue. All right, it's still the right face. Cause yeah, yep, it's still the right face. that tack up again like we did before so what I probably should have done looking back is laid these out in the Sun this morning but I didn't do that That's the reason I like to glue this whole face because then I can work these wrinkles up and it will look a lot better in the end. The, uh, the only bad part about using that glue is you start to feel like Clifford Franklin in the replacements. Skips everywhere. At least if you're me, anyways. Okay, now rinse, wash, repeat. More of the same. So we'll do our relief cuts while we're waiting on all that stuff to tack up. Again, we're gluing this bottom and we're gluing that top. And that's all we're going to worry about for now. So we'll give this a nice relief cut right here so we can fold it over. I'm sure relief cut is the proper terminology, but hey, whatever.
right? You guys aren't going to tell anybody. See how that will work out. Let me fold that up like that. But I don't mind doing this because it's kind of quick and easy. You don't even really have to think all that much if you don't want to. Okay, so we'll... Get that set up. Take a drink of tea. It's hot. Notice now that somehow my kids got yogurt on the light. I don't know how that happens, but if anyone can figure out how to get yogurt on the ceiling, it's them. Look at that. See, that's what I'm talking about. I got binder clips glued to my fingers. Okay, now we're ready to do the uh, top. So we'll do that real quick. And then we're basically done. We'll do some cuts in here again. Cut off some of this excess. when your family screams. Move that check up. My daughter yelling in the background. There's yogurt on the wall in the picture frame. Am I the only one who has kids that are pigs? That's what I want to know. We'll fold these over just to get some more glue on our fingers for no other reason.
Okay, guys, and that's it. Uh, now we've got these two sail panels ready to go. We'll leave them to fully dry, and then we'll install them. And I'll show you guys how to do that in the next one. So I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions or comments, you know, drop them in the comment box. Do hickey thing below, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.